So in the previous video, I showed you how you could get set up map tool nice and simple to put a map on it and to put some tokens on it, put a fog of war and there you've got your little instant uh, battle map and tabletop. Uh, this video, I'm going to add a couple of bits more. So if you notice on the left hand side here, I've got a chat window and this is made uh, available by pressing the window key and selecting chat if it doesn't show up there. And in here you can chat to all your players and anything you type in here uh, will be seen by your players. So if I type in there and that will go to all my players and when they type something in their browser, it will come back and appear in the chat window. If you want to do dice rolls over the internet, then it's easy. You type forward slash R, a space, and the dice type you want to roll. So 1d8 will give you a 1d8 roll. So if you want to do a, roll, a d20 roll, it's R1d20, and that will give you the roll there. What you can also do is add modifiers. So if you've got a strength of 6 plus 6, you type 1d20 plus 6. That will roll a d20 for you, add the 6, and there you go. It's a nice simple way to do the um, dice rolls online and keep it simple. What you can also do as you get in a bit uh, more complicated, you can set macros up, but then there's other videos on YouTube that will show you that. I'm not going to show you, but basically you have buttons that you can create and by clicking on those that will do the roll for you and you can say how many d6 you want to roll and that will do that or a d100 roll and just click on the macro and it'll do all the calculations for you. But look into that. Uh, selecting maps, as you can see, this is a campaign I'm running for Flash Gordon. And you've got different maps here that you can select. And once you're through to a map, you can force your players by pressing Control E will force them to where you're going to do, uh, to where you are. And Control F then will also f um, force them to your, your view. And you can zoom in and zoom out drag the map, map around using your right button. Zoom in, zooming out is done by your middle mouse wheel. On the token layer, you can move tokens, drag them around. If you put, over here I've got some creatures which they can't see um, because they are on the hidden layer, but when I hover over them, you can see that I put notes in there. And the same with the players. If you double click a player, it'll bring up their edit box and you can keep notes about them here anything in the top box um, is what the uh, players can see anything in the bottom box is where i can add my notes and once you get up and something set with this you can actually set properties for your players for your characters as well and your tokens and you can set up strength dexterity or whatever stat you want and you can put those notes in there and when you write your macros they can use those as well and you can import your own library of maps, your own library of tokens, so you can really add to it as you go. And any uh, map on the right hand side here, which is greyed out, means that it's not player visible. So if I switch to a map here, my players can't see this map yet until I make it visible by going to view. And map, sorry, even map player visible, which is control H. So control H, visible to players or not visible to players. And that is the nice easy way to do it. So you've now got your dice rolls to go in with your maps and your tokens. Um, and again, you can make it more complicated if you want, but that is a nice simple way to do it.